make sure to check your gas, boys. I noticed that was relatively low. Uh, if we get into a, a drawn out pursuit, we don't want to be uh, running dry. Robert 5, 10 4. Four five one for three zero nine direct. I just pulled out of the gas station, Innocence, uh, at Alta, and I'm going to have that uh, Warner. Uh, it's going to be black in color. Excuse me, going to be black in color at the gas station I just pulled out of. It's going to be occupied three times. Driver's going to be a number two male, camouflage shirt, elderly, gray hair, about 270 pounds. Going to have another number two male, uh, gray suit, about 150 pounds, dark hair, about six feet tall. Third male is going to have green hair, about 200 pounds, uh, pants, and a leather jacket with a scarf. Next unit makes contact. Go ahead and initiate traffic. Failure to display valid registration. What's the nearest cross on hold them now? Southbound Elgin at Innocence. Continuing past Innocence now on the Strawberry, you pulling think, into the clothing shop. Do you think people would like, drive a bus if I... They're going to be in the clothing shop parking lot. County Dispatch 309. Traffic, hold me out with a uh, gray and colored four-door. Your plate's going to be mailed. Nora it's Edward fire. Paul 357. Nora Edward Paul 357. It's going to be Strawberry Avenue, Innocence Boulevard in the parking lot. Hey, yo! Well, hello, Braben. Oh, look who it is. Mr. Paris Esquire. I thought I recognized your tiny mousy frame, sir, when I passed the car. Hello, Mr. Brambo. You have your license, registration, and proof Good of insurance, day. sir. A absolutely. Right here. Hold on a second, okay? Mm-hmm. Wow, you brought the whole force with you. Shut up, Mr. Paris Esquire. Shut your car's looking very shiny Mr. today. Esquire. Everyone's looking very good. The Mr. Esquire, lawyer, be quiet, sir. You know what would be even better, Mr. Esquire? Why don't you step out? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm out yep. here. Walk back there with Run that other paper. Walk boss. back there with him. Come on back here, boss. You want to jaw jack? He, he can't wait to hear your story. Go to the back of my car. Why don't you go ahead and uh, turn around and face away from me at the trunk of my car? Come on up there. Don't be shy. Right, it's a Ford. All right, Mr. Brambo. There I appreciate that. Put your hands up. Reason Just for the, for the stop is going to be failure panic. to signal. Not In addition, your, uh, my ALPR is not returning, so it's going to be uh, failure to display proper registration, sir. So if you have those documents, uh, right. registration documents so for the vehicle, you can go ahead and I'm grab those. I'm going to go ahead and run the license, all right? Go. I'll be right back with you. All right. All right. I'm sorry. You're going to keep the pistol, and I'm going to put some bracelets on you. 
Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm sorry, I, I missed the front of that. I'm, I'll reload the front, so I'm gonna either take this pistol off you during our encounter, and I'm gonna leave you on handcuff, or I'm gonna put handcuffs on you. Uh, whatever is easier for you, officer. It doesn't. No, I'm matter. giving you options. I'm giving you. I should. Every choice is yours in life, and you should make okay, one right, right yeah. now. I mean, I, I I can take the handcuffs, you know. If okay, if you dig it, I'll let you dig it. It's fine. Kenny dispatch from 309. I'm gonna request a tag run. Um, not getting any kind of return on the APR. It's actually really good. Yeah. We're by the coding store. I can go get my hat back. Oh, okay. Okay. So, no, no, yeah, you're just being right now, five, because seven, the number of occupancies of the vehicle is a little bit risky for us. You do have a weapon on you. And yeah, absolutely. And a little mouthy. So we're going to get you some bracelets while we conduct this stomp. Absolutely, officer. Whatever you're comfortable with. Hey, city with. boy. Have that, uh, have that driver step out. Risk him for weapons, too. Off one real quick, sir, and just the off. Why don't you and go ahead and step out too, right? Uh, once we hit, yep, step there up. we go. Now we're rolling. Let's get our let's get our safety measures up. Go ahead and step over here with the city officer, Braven. Right here. Driver, go ahead and come to say. So you traded out the helmet here? and the ski boots, sir. I'm okay. sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing here. you over you all this officer. You know what, then, Mr. Esquire? Then you can move farther away from the scene, sir. Turn There's nothing that you could add. Face away from me, Mr. Rambo. Put your hands behind your back. Palms together, sir. I'm sorry, I missed that, officer. Do you got anything that's gonna you, stick me, poke you know me, shank me, hurt me in any kind of form or fashion? You can turn your ears down and go to a whisper mode. All you'll hear is me, right? I have a. I think I have a sandwich in my back pocket. It's nothing You're else gonna have to speak real slow for him, Doyle. You may need to break out the flashcards or a coloring book. Let me see. Nope. I can still hear them, and I can still hear you, and we can still talk, and you can only hear me. I was asking if you're still a lawyer. Okay. Oh, cool. I'd like to test your common lawyer knowledge. Let's see what you got, all right? So what law, what case law, a commonly used case law? All right, Mr. Brambo. You want to uh, lower your voice for me, sir, so we can have a quick chat? Yeah, absolutely. Whatever you need. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, I'm I'm going to be honest. The thing that drew me drew my attention is a scumbag lawyer. Got a goddamn. Uh, <laughs> might as well have a fucking target painted on his back for as big as that kid's mouth is. I'll tell you that right now. That being said, car's dirty, man. Registration ain't pulling back. Y'all ain't signaling. You act nervous, Mr. Brambo. What's going on, man? You want to level I with me? I thought I signaled. I thought I signaled back there. I just bought the car today, okay? I got the goddamn same dealership as last time. Okay, so it's your car then? There. I'm doing my best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, did you find them registration papers I asked you for? I, I looked through the glove box. It didn't seem like the guy put it in there. He didn't put it Which in I'm there? Which I'm very upset about. I'm very upset. It's very inconvenience yeah. to me. I'd be very upset too. That's unfortunate. You know, as the operator of this vehicle, you're responsible for the status and its operation, maintaining it in the legal standard, sir? Yeah, that, that, that seems fair. I mean, I, I trust the dealer. It don't look I good. I mean, you riding here with a lawyer, an officer of the law, officer of the court, and he's supposed to know law inside out. He's letting you ride around in that kind of car, no registration like that. Plate ain't coming back. Seems a little uh, fishy, sir. Uh, it sounds like I need to take a couple back of uh, the goddamn IOU. Take back a couple of the purple ones. <laughs> right. Those are the big ones. The, that, you don't want to lose those ones. That's, those are big ticket items, those purple ones. Absolutely. He has no idea what's coming to him. Mm-hmm. So, as a elderly gentleman who already owns several vehicles, what drew you to this one in particular, Mr. Brambo? Uh, well, this one, actually, uh, it wasn't rusted to shit. That's the only reason that caught my eye in the... Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the rear rear mirrors there look very nice. Mm. A little bit small, ain't it, for a man of your frame? Pushing around such a small car. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was hitting my head on the ceiling, but I, you know, I get used to that. Mm-hmm. Stylish. Stylish. 
I can't help but notice also, Mr. Brambo, I was leaving to get some gasoline. Saw you and your friends. Y'all didn't even bother to say hello or nothing. Ducked into the gas station there for a hot minute. I don't even think you got gas. And then duck out real quick, down Alta Street, cut back, double back on me, pass me again, coming down the opposite way. Seems like you were trying to give me the old rope-a-dope, sir, the old slip. Makes me think that something's uh, not right with this here car, man. You saw all that, huh? Mm-hmm. Now, I'll tell you what, Mr. Brambo. Nobody else can hear us right now, sir. We can play a little game, and I think you know it. It's called To Tell the Truth. Now, if you want to play that you game with stop. me, we can play. Otherwise, I can get on the horn, call the goddamn dog down here, and we can stop all the foreplay get right to the fucking, sir. Your choice. Listen, listen, true. Listen, listen. The, the alley you saw me go down was the repair place. My car was completely fucked up. Mm. Some asshole hit me from behind. The windows were shot. I was just over there trying to get some repairs done. So you're out here. $175. I got ripped off. You're out here operating an unroadworthy vehicle that didn't occur to you to have repaired until you saw my state patrol vehicle. Is that what you're telling me, Mr. Brambo? Well, I mean, you ever see that TV show on uh, MTV back in the day? It was called Scared Straight. Yeah, I saw you and I got scared straight, straight mm -hmm. as an arrow. I told you I'm not gonna be in the. I'm not gonna. I'm, a, I'm a new man. I'm a new yeah, man. you ever seen that? Uh, speaking of TV shows, you ever seen that TV show with that weird ass comedian Gallagher? He's like smashing stuff with a big ass hammer, like watermelons and I was stuff. Was a Gallagher two kind of guy? Gallagher really two. Like Does he smash stuff with a hammer in Gallagher two? He does the exact same shit as his brother. Oh shit! Unbelievable, man. Who would have thought that Gallagher's father could have tricked a lady into letting her fuck uh, or fucking him twice, man? After the first child, it's kind of the kind of kid you have to tie meat around his neck, make the dog play with him, kind of thing. Now, the point of me referencing that—I believe that, they were twins. She kind of <laughs> well, feel sorry for them. Then, the reason I reference that, Mr. Brambo, since we're talking about TV, is I want you to imagine your testicles, sir, as those watermelons. All right, and I am Gallagher or Gallagher too, whichever you prefer. Now, I'm about to swing that hammer, sir, and if you make me swing that hammer, uh -huh. and hold, you don't want to be on honest... before we swing any type of hammer, I come over here, and, uh, there's some interesting shit. Before no shit. Before we go any further, I've already got enough reasonable articulable suspicion to start tearing that vehicle the fuck mm, apart. Mm, mm. That lawyer guy over there, the yep. smart man, he ain't as smart as he sounds. He I actually not. told me where y'all came from, and oh, where y'all went to, and where y'all are going to. Well... I guess uh, to, the offer to play the uh, to I tell the truth is off the table. Some bitch. <laughs> yeah, I was like, How, how's your day going? He's like, great. And then I was like, well, where'd y'all come from? We came from a shady fucking barn that smelled like weed up off. What? The uh, <laughs> how? How said? How long did y'all stay there? That man said a few minutes. I said, okay. Did the car seem to sag? Did anybody put anything in the trunk? He said, yeah. I don't know what it was, because mm -hmm, he's worried mm -hmm. about incriminating himself, but he yeah. said they put something in the trunk, and then we rolled out, and we kind of took a tour, taking local stops to a bunch of places. No shit. That's kind of crazy. Sounds uh -huh. like distro. I don't even think he knew what he was saying at the time. Man, time. worst goddamn worst lawyer worst ever. Lawyer. Yeah, me too. I well, think I'm so tell you too. What, that's what happens when you pay your lawyer in IOUs. That's what he said too. You were over there. <laughs> they were purple IOUs. IOUs. Those are the big ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So we found a little bit of truth. We found a little bit of truth out of the entirety of this conversation. Mm-hmm. Certainly looks like Mr. Uh, Paris Esquire so is looking to try what. to keep himself in business. Here's how, here's how it's going to go. I'm going to go over to that car, and all this that I'm about to say is just statements. And if i got to look through every fucking compartment in that car, and you guys waste any more of my time, I'm going to make sure Eli writes the maxes. But I'm going to find it. I love hidden compartments. I love searching through shit. Every time I open the trunk of a car, it's like fucking Christmas Eve for me. I get all these goddamn presents that I get to sift through, and I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. Santa knows I've been good. That car right now. Step out right now. That's gonna be my shot. Oh, this town's gonna be shit.
It's going to have a 99 vehicle. It's going to be westbound Strawberry. It's going to be a silver in color. Mercedes Benz Coupe. Or excuse me, uh, four door. What a waste Three of group, nice car. Fuck that coupe. Yep. Unless you want to break off on it. I'll go stand with uh, Greenhead over here. This will be interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody's talked to him yet. Smell like a nice man. <laughs> now let's get to work and get my crowbar. Thank you, I dressed myself today. <laughs> Blame it to Center. In one week, people will all be dressed like Blamin. <laughs> oh, I'll be cruising around with my grandpa and his lawyer all day. I mean, we passed the beach, we went to the tequila wah wah wah. Um, we went Open up to, sesame. Like, like the mountain areas. There were a bunch of hikers out there. He said that was buggering dope. I don't know why he would say that, but even did just walk away dope on his person. On his person. I do have a medical marijuana card. Let's get into it. You take the right side, I'll take the left. No, I don't have it. <laughs> it's where my Wakoba. What is going on? We're gonna Raise have, that uh, gun at me and see what happens, boy. I don't take no fucking It was game. my finger. Strawberry Avenue. It was Shots my You want to do an illegal Lord. turn in the intersection and then point a gun at me? I'll, that's what's going to happen to you. I'm going to fuck it home today. It was my finger. <laughs> yeah, your finger almost pulled that trigger. Mine pulled it sooner. You might have another, uh, oh, another client, stupid. Mr. Rakin. Uh, God, there's no need to shoot me, man. I'm looking to switch sides. What the fuck? Uh, Brock, can Why you hear me? Why would you do that, officer? Oh yeah, I can hear you. Esquire, what can I do for you? Uh, Dispatch Robert Brock, 5, if, requesting EMT at Strawberry um, and Innocent Days Boulevard. are like hours, and hours like minutes. Just to do everything by the book. You know what might be even better, Mr. Esquire? Since you've been so cooperative, yes, I'm going to give you a private suite. Over here. Away oh, from your friends. Thank you. No problem, Mr. Esquire. Live to serve. Do you, can I can I be inside the shop? No, you got some AC. In no, there. you may not. You can leave me handcuffed. Okay. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm happy. Like, is there anything else I may or may not do, Mr. Uh, Paris Esquire? No, I, 
I'm, I'm very comfortable right now. Thank you very much, officer. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that, and it's trooper shithead. Oh, I'm sorry. I always get it wrong. Any type of green packages coming to and fro cars? Who took you where and who was the point man? It's up to you. I'm gonna put you behind my car. I'll go ahead and search you. Three oh nine from Charles two. Now, what would you think you put in the gun at a state trooper? Sir, it wasn't my gun. It was my middle finger, sir. I know it's still offensive. I shouldn't have done it, but it wasn't a gun, sir. Understand these rights? Yes, sir. All right. All right, Mr. Brambo, can you hear me, bud? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so this is what we got, my man. Um, Registration is not returned on the car. We're gonna let that go. We're gonna let go of the unroll of the vehicle. We're gonna let go of the uh, the signal and etc. None of that really matters. It's low level type shit. It'd be just salt in the wound at this point. Uh, Obviously, given the uh, statements that Mr. Paris Esquire made to Trooper Doyle, uh, we had reasonable suspicion to search the vehicle pursuant to uh, the suspicion that perhaps you gentlemen were engaged in some nefarious ass shit based on his statements. Barber uh, 5, 451 direct. Wait one. Uh, pursuant to the search, sir, we located one single package uh, in the trunk of the vehicle, conducted a test with the field test kit. Uh, it's going to be testing positive for THC and marijuana, sir. You know anything about that? I mean, I didn't search through the trunk before I went in there. I don't, you know, I was just, I was just driving Number Mr. Five, Paris around. Two, so always advise the person you're hailing you before you read your own call sign. Well, I'll tell you what, Mr. Brambo. On this one, sir, you're going to be the one that dangles. And uh, you're pretty much already sewed up. Mr. Paris Esquire sewed you a nice tight jacket, sir. You already Number admitted one. it's your Correct. vehicle, you driver of the vehicle, when we extracted you, the papers ain't in the vehicle like they're supposed to, and uh, Mr. Paris Esquire basically painted it as him and Braven was just along for the ride, and you yeah, didn't know yeah, anything about it, that you guys are trafficking uh, drugs. Hyperventilating over here, he might be blacking out soon if he keeps it up. 10 four. we're also going to have the rapture I'm in about 1-3 Mike. Back too. I'm going to be 76 to Mission Row here in 2 Mike. What was that, Mr. Brambo? I'm sorry, the radio was going, sir. 451, you got it. I said, I'm there. taking the orange I use back too. Purple and orange coming back to me. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Mm. Well, at this point, sir, you're under arrest for possession of marijuana, possession of a stolen vehicle. Uh, I think I'll leave it at that, Mr. Brambo, unless we want me to think up some other stuff. You know, I'm all for creativity, but I say we can just go with those. Take the night off. I appreciate that, Mr. Brambo. Thank you. County Dispatch 309, show me 76 to Mission Road, 11095 subject. Hey, Eli, you got enough? What's up with the, uh, what's up over here? Yeah, uh, we're going to have the search, uh, is going to be a one small package of marijuana, one kilo. Went ahead and field tested it, turned purple and positive for uh, THC. Asked Mr. Brambo about it. He's still doing the old. Now, Texas two steps saying you don't know nothing about nothing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But that coupled with the statements you got already yeah. from Mr. Paris Esquire gave me enough, so I went ahead and placed him yeah, under arrest. Yeah, I was get, I was getting ready to crack through on him, but it looks like we're drying up on time. Yeah, the Rapture's inbound. Yep, Rapture's inbound. What about that British boy? Who likes to point his fingers at state troopers. How's he? Uh, <laughs> did they already take his ass? Oh no, he's over there. Take care, Super officers. Loyal, Be safe out there. Matt, thank you so much for your help, Mr. Paris Esquire. 
God, God bless you. Maybe I had that kid pegged all wrong, Mr. Brambo. The lawyer. I, I can assure you, you've got him pegged correctly. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What a fucking scumbag. Am I right? Good Lord. <laughs> yeah. Son Lord, of a bitch. Note to self, as it were. Son of a bitch. County dispatch from 309. I'm going to have a 99 police vehicle. It's going to be Vespucci uh, eastbound. Hold tight, Mr. Brambo. Hold it on. <laughs> Son of a bitch. New guy. He about got shot. was in Paris, was it? No, it was not, unfortunately. I also have my fingers crossed that maybe he had managed to elude Trooper Doyle, which I doubt, and uh, had stolen a police vehicle. Although we did get the British guy, so you know, can't be, uh, can't be too choosy. All right, Mr. Brambo, try to get you squared away as quick as possible, sir, with the rapture approaching. All right. There you go. Feel free to you know, give me the, the fast track over to Bowling Brook. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do you a favor, though, and Shuffle I'm not going to give you ma max time. I figure the, a victim of such deep betrayal, you know what I'm saying? Like some fucked up shit right there. Crawfished on you almost immediately. Jellyfish, man. Yeah, it was really quick, yeah. Yeah, I thought was. that was a tactic right there. Man, he Very turned impressed. and fucking snitched quick. Well, if it was a tactic, we couldn't have gone ahead with the search of the vehicle if there wasn't uh, Man, yeah, consent. Right. But uh, you heard him on the way out. He's all bubbles and sunshine. He must cut himself a juicy deal with Doyle. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he gets Very to walk. For him. He's lucky he caught Doyle and not me because I would have fucking barbecued his ass regardless. All right, Mr. Brambo, you don't have anything sharp on you, do you? Any uncapped needles, razor blades, ninja stars, pocket knives, tic-tac, fucking anything like that in your pocket's going to stick me or poke me, do you? No, no, you should be all set back there. Get as deep as you want. Thank you, Mr. Brambo. I plan to, sir. Ten four ten seven at twenty three fifty two. Four thousand four hundred twenty two dollars in cash, huh? You've been on the grind, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah not really. I'm kind of low, run low. Bought the wrong car a couple times. Couldn't all fit in it. A little embarrassing. Yeah. So you just been buying cars all day, huh? Despite owning two yourself, you just been going by there buying the wrong car, wrong fit. Sounds like you have had a busy day, Mr. Brambo. A very busy day indeed. Hey, hey, hey. 73 years old, maybe have a little crisis, kind of want to, you know, keep things fresh. Uh huh. Like some convertible thing, but I don't want to burn my head off. Yeah, maybe uh, a little tip for you then in your, your uh, efforts. Maybe don't truck with such recognizable boneheads as Mr. Paris Esquire. Every single cop in the city knows a damn lawyer from a mile away. His mousy, tiny little frame and those beady little eyes scream out, fuck with me. All right? Especially if you ain't you doing little, something that's on the level. You want a little tip there? You want a little tip? I'll give you 
little tip on fucking Esquire. If he's in the back seat, that means trouble's going down. He's such a little bitch. He doesn't think he'll get in trouble if he's in the back seat. <laughs> Duly noted. For that I'll little tip, Mr. Brambo, I'm going to go ahead and over. wave the fine, sir, in appreciation of that. Oh, thank you. Now, possession of uh, Schedule 2 controlled substance with intent to distribute, as well as possession of a stolen vehicle. Uh, I could probably push obstruction. I'm not going to do that, and I'm not going to do any of the traffic stuff. Mr. Brambo, an elderly man like yourself, scarcely needs to be up in jail playing butthole bingo any longer than it is necessary. Also, I do probably figure you suffered some serious internal damage, what with being betrayed by your friend. So I'm going to lower that yep. from uh, the maximum of 35 months. I'm going to give you 10 months, head you up there. All right, that sounds fair. Hopefully I've got 10 months to live. Well, if you're in need of medical attention, Mr. Brambo, I could always add another 10 months so the doctors can give you a good once over if you feel like that might be for the best. No, no, no. I think I'll be fine with that. Thank you. I'll, 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 I'll take my chances. Okay. You got me concerned now. That's the thing is I, I don't know though, you know, like don't want oh, you to I give out on me. All right. <laughs> I'll stay strong. I'll stay strong. I promise. I certainly Maybe hope so. Not going anywhere. County Dispatch 309, request a 1091 transport to Bolingbrook State Prison, medium security wing. For number two male, going to be cell one, Mission Road Process, about six feet tall, 250 pounds. Uh, tattooed, camouflage shirt, shorts, boots on, gray-headed. Later on, old man, 